It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see Jordan Love. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Packers and the Jags, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. We're looking live at a beautiful fly-in to Everbank Field in Jacksonville. Even if you closed your eyes, Brock, you'd still know exactly where you were by the rallying cry of the Jaguar faithful in the stands. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, Maybe six points, too. Ball teed up. Logan Cook after the kick. And we're underway from Everbank Stadium. It's Keyshawn Nixon with the return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. So the Packers' offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by the Utah State product and former first-rounder back in 2020, Jordan Love. It took Jordan Love a little while for him to get his chance to start in the NFL. He had to watch Aaron Rodgers for a number of years, but guess what? Aaron had to watch Brett, and it paid huge dividends. And it sure looks like Jordan Love, to start his career, is doing the same. He didn't just watch Aaron Rodgers. He worked on his game. He developed his game over three years. And when he got his chance, he sure looked like a young star at the position. He'll work it a couple of yards past the line. The former number one pick, Trayvon Walker, on the stop. to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Let's go. Ready? They stick with Jacobs. He breaks a tackle. And he'll get it up to the 44. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Ready, set. Here's Love to throw. He's going deep! And disaster averted, he knocks away the deep ball incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, so it'll be second down. Here we go, here we go. Shotgun now for Love. He's loaded another one up. This is caught inside the 15. And it goes the distance. Touchdown, Green Bay. The Packers take a 6-0 lead right away. It's a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when you could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Anders Carlson to tack on the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Packers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Devin Duvernay to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out in his fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. The biggest mistake he could make here is letting his offense get suckered into trying and matching the pace while the opposition just set. Even if it was a quick score to begin the game, 
He's got to have the poise and the patience here to run the opening script they planned for all week long. Play your game and not let the circumstances dictate and force your hand early. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We spend so much time talking about an offense and how they script their first 15 plays typically. But how about that defensive coordinator, that head coach? Heck, every player on that sidelines, you couldn't script it any better. Well, other than maybe taking the ball away, creating a negative play, creating a sack, creating offense now behind the chains, that's exactly how you're looking to start. After the sack, another pass on second down. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. First time this game, they've looked to him. So now it's going to be third and long. Lawrence working from the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And he's going to go. It's a pick six. Just tried a little bit too hard to get that third down conversion. Brock wanted so badly to keep that opening series going, and that one cost him. Yeah, I think it's less, Kate, in this case about the throw and much more about crediting the defense who was ready and willing to be opportunistic. Not just knock that ball away, uh-uh. Yeah. They wanted to take advantage of that opportunity, and they jumped on it. Carlson to tack on the extra points. Hooking toward the upright, but it's good. And the Packers drive out to an early 14-0 lead. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. He'll bring it out from a couple yards deep. This isn't even going to make the 20. The coverage team gets to him. The Jaguars and Christian Kirk headed back onto the field. And as this season progresses, he's been a steady producer for this offense, leading the league in receptions to this point. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Right, let's go. Now Lawrence coming off a pick. It's caught. This is Gabe Davis. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Now Lawrence down the play fake. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First down, ball at the 36. Here's Travis Etienne on the ground. And this almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Edger and Cooper there to make the stop. We get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here. What he was able to do in support of that win. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Silver. Out of the gun, Lawrence. That's Thomas, he's got it. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. That's the rookie from Texas A&M who took him down. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Complete beyond the marker. And he's gonna go down right along the midfield strike. A five yard gain on the play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. 
you're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Here's Etienne on first down. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On second down, it's Etienne. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Packers into a nickel defense, third down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. On first and 10, here's Lawrence. Chased out to his right. Oh, look at this, here he goes. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. Back to Everbank Stadium in just a bit. Back for the second quarter. It's Jaguar football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Lawrence throwing here. And that's incomplete. Wanted to dial up the aggressiveness there like that, but couldn't connect. Second down. This is an excellent job, Kate, right here by the defense to deny that big play and make them earn it offensively. If they want to reach the end zone, they're going to have to scrap and fight right through them. Lawrence trying again on second. Finding Davis. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a Jaguar first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Tight end going in motion here. First down throw, Lawrence. Escapes the pocket. He's going to keep it this time. And he's short of the first after a mild game. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep a move. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Cam Little to try the extra points. The point after splits the uprights. And the Jaguars chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Fielded at the seven. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. And he's been a frequent visitor to the end zone over the first couple of months of this season. Right now actually leading the league in rushing touchdowns. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, 
Those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Love from the gun. He puts everything behind this one. He's got it inside the 25. It's a Green Bay touchdown. The Packers take a 13-point lead. It's a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. That one right down the middle. And the Packers double their lead to 14. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The Jacksonville offense back on the field now. They got the job done there last time out, still trailing by a lot, though, so they're going to need a repeat of that touchdown here. First and 10, it's Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. Brought down by Quay Walker. Nothing gained or lost on that run, and now it's third and three. Now Lawrence. On the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Jacksonville in punt formation. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. Takes this in at the 25. And he found some space to do a little damage there before they bottle him up. The Packers are headed back to the field, so we'll get a look at Romeo Dobbs. And unless the coverage adjusts to slow him down, Brock, he's going to be busy and a productive target for them throughout the rest of this contest. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and 10 coming up. Jacobs running behind center. Broke through the tackle. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Here we go. Here's Love. Pocket isn't holding up, they're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. And look at that, all that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game, you gotta snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself, and they do get home that sack. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the sack. Gets everything he has under. That's grabbed inside the 30. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Excellent pickup to move the chains. 36 yards in the end. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware, 
that he's a viable option as well. On the double. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Huh. On first and ten, here's Love. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. There with a new set of downs to boot. The Packers take their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll run Jacobs. And they're able to a halt after a pickup of four. So we've reached the end of two, and it's the visiting Packers out in front. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit, and they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Nelson Aguilar, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Caleb Williams. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewer. Thanks so much for the look around the league, Coach. But now it's time to turn our attention back to this one as we begin the third quarter. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Here's Duvernay on the return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And you can see he's in chase mode, trying his best to catch the league leader in receiving. Right now, sitting in second place. They're out and set, first and ten. Red on red. Nope. Now it's Lawrence. Finds him over the middle. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. From the gun, ETN gets it. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, It'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Here's second and seven. Completed over the middle. He's got to gain a six there. It was Preston Smith with a stop. Teammates notice when they got a guy willing to take it on the chin to get rid of the pass. That's a pass that's going to earn a lot of points with the other 10 players, not just today, but when they go back and watch that play on tape. ETN on third down. First down and more past the 40. 
And he gets this shot all the way to the 31-yard line. They got 24 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. They've got first down from the 31. Rip, 23. Looking to throw, Lawrence. The throw finds Evan Ingram. That play good for 17 and a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Rolling left, and this time they're gonna get there, and they drop him. Now this is the dreaded sight. Anytime there's a sack, he's hurting after taking that hit, and they're gonna get out there to check on him. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Here we go, here we go, get set. Another try following the sack. Stays upright. But there's too much pressure, and he's brought down. And the back-to-back -back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up with a third down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. So a really tough spot here. This is third and a country mile. First throw for the backup now. Dumped off to his running back. And that will not be enough for a first down. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness that's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. Coming off the edge, and it's blocked! And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. That protection has got to be able to hold up for a few seconds. It has to. Those are points that aren't going on the board now and wasted effort by their teammates to get them to this point. The Packers and Jordan Love set to take over again. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten, coming up. Hand off here to Jacobs. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Tyson Campbell, the man on that tackle. Well, this certainly has been a memorable contest for him. His coaches, man, they're going to take this kind of output every single game. This goes a little beyond the expectations they have for him, maybe even for himself. What impresses me so much, Kate, Guy just doesn't tire, getting stronger, literally, as this game's going on. Fights off a tackle, but he lost the ball. He left the ball behind. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, he was fighting off defenders, trying for the extra yards. You understand it, but might have... So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. After review of the play, ruling on the field is reversed. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. So a crisis averted a moment ago, but their reward, a really tough third down here. Shotgun now for Love. Trying for the deep ball. He's got it inside the 10. It's a Green Bay touchdown. 
I know that's one of his favorite routes to run, Brock, but that has got to be one of a quarterback's favorite throws to make as well, right? Drop it in over the defender and take the lid off the D for six. Because it is so, so simple. Mm. It's something that these two have done and, and thrown together for years and years. Maybe not to each other, but since Pop Warner, they've been running the go route. Just run right by him, and if you're even, you're leaving, and I'm going to drop it right over the top. Oh, and it's no good. Just his second missed extra point of this season. And they failed to tack one onto that touchdown. The Packers about set to kick this one away. And away we go again. Here's Duvernay on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Jacksonville heading out there on offense. They had their field goal blocked last time out, so three points poorer on the scoreboard than they expected to be right here. Fits it through the middle. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and 10 inside the red zone. From the red zone now. ETN on the catch. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. They just get the playoff. That's taken in by ETN. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Omaha, that... Out of the gun, a give to ETN. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I don't know, kid. I didn't think he had it. But that back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the pressure drives them backwards. Now second and goal at the 17-yard line. Got to forget about first down in a hurry. They need a chunk of yards here on second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Jones. He'll get this to ETN. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out, and this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And it's a turnover. The defense has it. Put a check mark by that one. You're going to remember that one, not just over the course of this game, but I guarantee you in the offseason when they're watching effort. That was all about effort. Backs pressed against the wall when you're down here defensively, and that's the type of play that coaches love to see from everyone on the roster. Running on first here with Jacobs, and he's brought down after a short game. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. They go counter, it's Jacobs. 
And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and 10. They're set up at the 35 now. Here we go, set, set. Going to the ground again on first. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Well, we've talked about this before, Brock. The thinking's simple but effective. We'll stop getting it to this guy uh, when you find a way to stop it, and they have yet to do that today. You know there's just certain things up in this booth that I love. I think you could feel it emanating from me. And one of them is when you impose your will, and you don't back away from it. If they can't stop it, run it right at them. And he fights his way forward to get this to the 45. It's a gain of five, and he's just short. So that's third and less than a yard. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Turning to Jacobs on third. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Third and inches, and you hate to see that run go backwards. I just take myself back to a huddle, and you know you're imploring your guys, listen, just give us a little bit of a push, and we will move the sticks instead. Well, the defense is energized with that stop. It's the two-minute warning here in Jacksonville. Packers about to stay unbeaten once again. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. And thankfully, he hasn't been needed until the final quarter. And he doesn't put much height or distance on that one. And this one touchdown inside the 30. Now the Jaguars offense ready to take over once more. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing here, Jones. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. Second and three now. From the 34. They're going to get to him, and what a shot! The football's out! But the Jaguars get back on top of the loose football. They're keeping possession. Oh, he got three. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. Trying to set this up quick. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Andrew and Cooper takes it away. And the Packers have it as he records the first interception of his young career. Wow, an aggressive choice to go for it on fourth and that kind of distance. And an equally aggressive play in coverage to pick that pass off. Yeah, that down in distance, you're not running it, right? Too far to get to the stick. So that defense had all eyes on the quarterback. They knew that pass was coming. And it's one thing to know it. It's another thing to execute it and go take it away. That's a big momentum swing for this defense. Got it off that interception, Brock. Let's see if they can pay that off with points. Here's first and goal. Here go. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. And he won't challenge for the goal line. The stop made at the four. Give him a couple on the run, and it's now second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Jacobs has nothing on that run. They stand strong and stop him at the two. Back-to-back -back run stopped short, and now it leaves him with a big third and goal. So it's the visiting Packers who pick up the win. And as we play in October, they have kept their perfect start to the season going. To the point, Brock, I think you could argue they might be the league's best team in the front half of this campaign. So that puts a bow on this one for my partner, Brock Heward, and everyone involved on our crew. I'm Kate Scott signing off. This has been another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.
The Packers are your winners as we bid farewell from Jacksonville.